Welcome everybody to Uncle to Uncle, the first podcast to take place live from a king-sized bed. We've done it all from recording in Hedonism 2 all the way to the Rock of Love tour bus. I'm your main host, Franklin, and as always, I'm joined by the coolest uncle of my whole world, Uncle Howard. Tu eres niño sin a dick. I just wants to get you. Oh no! Well, if that's, that's the case, one, two. I will call myself Ndick. <laughs> Ndick. Ndick. This is very disrespectful. It is. You're saying I don't have a dick? <laughs> wow. I'm a bad, bad man. He's a mean, he's a racist, <laughs> and he's very, very, very devilish. Devilish. <laughs> so hold on a second. Yeah. In Michael Jackson's hierarchy. Yeah. So mean is like three. Yeah. Racist is two. Yep. And devilish is at the top and number one. I think that's fair. I guess that's pretty fair. Like, would you want rather somebody who's devilish or racist? <laughs> well, I mean, the devil is the inventor of everything bad, right? Yeah, you think the devil is just like... Do you think racist? the devil is the most racist guy there is? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. What's the landscape looking like at hell? Yeah, it's very white. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, then in that case, you know. What? Is the devil a white man? Yeah. You well, know I guess what? in a lot of ways he is. Yeah. Well, he's all men. He's all men, yeah. Well, no, because, the, the you know, the devil and all these these religious people from the Bibles, right? They were from, uh, you know, ancient Middle East and Africa. Mm-hmm. Right? So were they all, uh, yeah, like Jesus wasn't, you know, a white white man. Brother. No, I know Jesus wasn't a white man. Give me well, a fine so flag. God couldn't have been white either. No. So Ergo the devil, the devil? Yeah, the devil's also like an Egyptian or something. I thought the devil's just like climbed from like underneath the surface. Like they're like the mole people. <laughs> you know, yo, know, brother, let me tell you something about the story of the, of the gods. Yeah. Uh, they they, they, yeah, so God made it, the angels up in heaven, bro, right? And they were all mm. flying around as happy as a beautiful little baby. And then uh, the de the devil, he was one of the angels, and he said, Hey, Slick, pop a beer and everything seems twice as good. Damn. And, yeah, and then God said, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and he sent him down to hell. Wait, wait, wait so God had hell, hell made already. I... I I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. I got, because, I'm sitting here, he's like, where? <laughs> he's, yeah. he's like, I've never heard of it. He goes, shit, let me make it up real quick. <laughs> this is really hot. <laughs> We're going to make something that's so hot. And uh, you're going to have a tail and be red from now on. Oh, so he was an angel bud before. Yeah, he was an angel bud. But then he became as, you know, he became a real uh, um, bedazzled. <laughs> but the damn, so the devil's Elizabeth early. Yeah. Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> that, damn, that is awesome. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> no complaints here. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's cool. I The devil's, I don't understand. It seems like it's way easier to go to hell than it is to go to heaven, right? Uh, you know, I agree with that. So, when, yeah. So if you're just like boosting up the devil all your life. Wouldn't it be cool to go to hell? He'd be like, right on, man. Good to see you. <laughs> like, you've always been my ride or die. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a quote that I, that I, uh, I, I misconstrued from time to time, but it's, uh, I'd rather, I rather suck dick with the sinners than get sucked off with the saints. Yeah, that's beautifully said. Brains. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You know who I thought uh, interpreted the devil quite well was uh, in uh, Darth Maul. The Darth Maul. No, 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 no. In uh, Bill Ted's Bogus Journey. Oh, yeah. He was scary in there, but he was a nice guy. He sent them to the Grim Reaper. Uh, oh, the and Reaper was nice. That's right. Reaper was nice, yes. Yeah. But Reaper had to have some association with the devil because the devil... Was just like, all right, you know what? Enough of you two clowns. You're going over to <laughs> meet the Reaper. 
Yeah. That's a that's a that movie was a pretty bogus journey in some ways. You see, I've had this discussion with a lot of people, but are it's you a cool. bogus journey or an yeah. excellent adventure? I'm a guy? bogus journey guy, man. Really? That's way better. Yeah, it's it's cooler. Mm -hmm. There's a rap. They say some words that you can't say in today's cancel culture. I think they said those that were in the first one as well. Yeah, but now Bill and Ted's gone woke, dude. <laughs> Face the music was good. I didn't see it actually. I need to see that. It was good. Look, there, yeah. there, there's a lot of that charm. It, it is yeah. good. There's a lot of the charm that's still there. It, you know, it, obviously, you know, Bill and Ted, one of my favorite movies growing up. Yeah. So there's some emotional attachment that, like, ah, well, you know. It, but I thought it had. I thought this one had a lot of charm. Your Gunray's influence extends farther than we ever imagined. That's right. Newt Gunray paid me off to like Bill and Ted's face the music. What if Bill and Ted meant Newt Gunray? Dude. You know what I was thinking about the other day? They'd be like, no! No! Leave me alone! <laughs> he would hate them. He yeah, would hate he would them. them. But you're excited for him. Yeah. Did Newt Gunray meet Jar Jar? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, <laughs> no, he didn't really meet anybody. <laughs> well, he met, he met Queen Amidala. Hey, he sure as hell met Anakin. He sure as hell... No, he didn't meet Anakin. Didn't he? Nah. Oh, I thought he got killed. It wasn't, who wasn't oh, he didn't meet Anakin. Yeah. He got killed. You're right. Yeah. That, was, that was Vader, bro. That, well, that, that was Vader. Oh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Vader killed the younglings, not Anakin. Yeah, it, you're right, it, brother. It's kind of like uh, on this reality show, Below Deck, mm -hmm. uh, there's this guy, Ashton, right? Yeah. But, like, he doesn't apologize when he does something fucked up when he's drunk, because that wasn't him. That was Smashton. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like, no, that, that wasn't me, mate. That was Smashton that, that broke your DJ equipment. That's pretty cool. So. <laughs> That's a good get out of jail free. Yeah, we, we got to develop drunken alter egos that we could. Uh... You can be Dranklin. Franklin? Oh, it yeah. wasn't me. It was Franklin. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Howard's a hard one to think. Howard's of. a uh, Howard's a tough one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, scoured. Happy, happy, happy Howard. Happy, happy hour Howard. Happy, happy hour Howard. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, happy hour Howard and Franklin. Yeah. Let them come. <laughs> We got our morning shock jock personas. Yeah. That's on like Fridays. We're like, well, you know, it's been just Howard and Franklin on Monday through Thursday, but on Friday, woo, we're woo. turning it up, brother. <laughs> it's Franklin and happy hour, Howard. Yeah. What are you guys drinking tonight? Well, are you in the commute? Are you at work right now? Pop Everybody, one open. Pop one, pop one open. You're a receptionist at a hair salon. Yeah, right. Your reception is at hair salon. I'm a Might fucking as well beard. be drinking, brother. Why can't they drink? Yeah. Oh, I don't want the receptionist at the hair salon to be partying. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, you don't want anybody having a good time, do you? Yeah, no. No one can have fun. Not when I'm around. Oh, I hate I hate that that boss, the mayor, the dean. Yeah, the the Dean Ambrose. <laughs> Quite frankly, anybody named Dean. I hate them. <laughs> no, I know one Dean is a hell of a guy. He's the third uncle, as far as I'm concerned. The third uncle. Mm -hmm. That's a very bold statement. Yeah, he's an uncle. Mm -hmm. He's a friend, and he's a hell of a hell of a head of hair on him. Yeah, yeah, all those things true. Yeah, and he never sleeps. <laughs> You've heard of the city that never sleeps, and this is the guy who never sleeps. That he doesn't. Dean's up late. Michael Jackson has died. <laughs> you think Dean was up to hear that news? Yeah. Was that that was in the date? That was like at five o'clock. Yeah, that was in the daytime. That's fucked up because it was a little bit after Farrah Fawcett had died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a tough break. Yeah, and then like a day later, they had the earthquake in Japan, right? So that just fucking. You think Michael Jackson just got overshadowed by that? Yeah, I think those people in the earthquake got overshadowed by Michael Jackson. It was like messed up both ways. Neither of them got a chance to breathe. You know? <laughs> no, none of the three parties. The two we celebrities spread that out. 
yeah. and, and, the, and the thousands of people that perished. Yeah. Let's see. Fukushima happened on uh, March 6th. No, it says March 16th, 2022. What? what? No. Oh, 2011. Well, that's oh. some time then. There's too many earthquakes nowadays. I can't keep track yeah. of this all. Oh, Maybe the Fukushima could... was the nuclear. The, the earthquake was the Tohoku. These but that was in March things. too. If you're if you're going to Japan, don't go in March. Low key refused to uh, work uh, one of the places in Japan. He's like, it's too close to a disaster site. Whoa, that's pretty disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? They didn't even die in the same year. Michael Jackson died in two thousand nine. <laughs> you know what it was? I was watching it on the same TV though. <laughs> why, did the, why do these celebrities always die like at a reasonable hour why is it never like at 4 a.m and it's like oh damn so and so oh died. your phone buzzes like an amber alert and bancroft died <laughs> bad right that'd be yeah. some shit that would be some shit man can you imagine you wait your alarm goes off in the middle of the night <laughs> and it's McClanahan. A What's that? Drew McClanahan's died. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! What was Murder She Wrote's name? Oh, Jessica Angela Lansbury. Your vulture. Wakes you up in the middle of the night. God. Yo, if, I got. I got to shoot though, for real, brother. Anybody who doesn't keep their phone on mute at nighttime is a mark. I'm worried I might not get my alarm. That's oh, why no. you, you put it on do not disturb, but your alarm will always go beep beep. I'm afraid it won't. I don't know. I guarantee it will. I I I, I do wake up at night because yeah, like, sometimes I have an idea. I have to text you. Yeah, no, no. Oh, that that's that's fine. That I do appreciate. You know, but there's too many group chats with you West Coast elites. Yeah, that it, it goes off and. WhatsApp, I, I don't know how to just, like, silence it. It's either the loudest notification on Earth, or I never get it. Yeah, it's better never to get it. Oh, WhatsApp. <laughs> Great. You mean the whole thing? Okay. Oh, WhatsApp with you, big man. <laughs> you know, I thought of a good idea, actually, today, Franklin, on how we can get bigger and more, oh. more popular, famous, and... Uh, and create a little bit of buzz in the biz. Oh, lay it on me, dude. Because I, I, I want to hear this. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do to expand. We're, our numbers yeah. are just the same. Yeah. Well, that's really good, though. In a lot that's, of ways, that is good. Don't you know, get me wrong. The, the issue with uh, the the Earth's climate is that the numbers keep changing when they should stay the same. Right. Right. So, right. So yeah, our our numbers are not like climate change. Now, you know what people like best out of the content that they consume, especially on the internet. It's not jokes. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not, you know, funny little asides and bits. They like to be told that they're extra smart because of what they're listening to. Oh, so, but how do we convince people they're smart, Franklin, by saying stuff that everybody knows is true, but we act like it's controversial. Oh my God. God. So we could be, we could say something like, you know, maybe Nancy Pelosi or uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene don't want you to know this, but uh, Santa Claus has always been a Christmas guy. <laughs> they don't, they want to deny you of that fact. Yeah, and, and then everybody's going to be like, oh yeah, I knew that. I, I must be smarter than them too. <laughs> I don't care what anybody has to say, but you know what? When you're talking Tom Cruise, you're talking one of the greatest actors. Now, a lot of people don't want you to know this. A lot of people might disagree. I don't care. Tom Cruise's work in Top Gun, phenomenal. Yeah. And then, you know, and then people are going to be like, yeah, that's really true. And they'll start fighting with other people about it. Because maybe they'll find some guy who's like, yeah, Tom Cruise is okay. I don't know. And then and we'll, we'll be like, kill them. Basically. <laughs> Let them come. 
Yeah. Sorry to bother you, big boy. <laughs> I need to speak to you about <laughs> whose cock Tom Cruise is sucking. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's unconfirmed. That's not I didn't mean I didn't mean to say I it was a, it was a you know a, You've been taking your pills, brother. I got I got it. Oh man. Where where are my gay pills, dude? I got a <laughs> I'm a little bit short, man. I'm a little. I stabbed a man in the heart. There we go. Is that from The Office? I don't know where that's from. We're having oh. clips from The Office now. Is this yeah, is this for new? Epic. Be... <laughs> How about you get a uh, Rain Wilson? Oh, I would love to because that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your idea. I, yeah. This is like a genuinely a good thing. I mean, we, we'd have to edit this it, out and just not ever let our audience know. Well, I mean, the audience that listens now could be in on it mm -hmm. and, you know, help us out and say, like, you know, obviously Santa Claus is a Christmas guy. Yeah. Because then the more people say it, eventually there's going to be some dumb dumb is just like, no, he's not. Yeah. You know, and then that's that's our enemy. And then we all tear him apart. And it's like somebody famous, huh? It, it, well, it could be somebody. It'll probably start slow. Okay, like it'll right. just start, you know, like like Johnny Wiener Dog, thirty two, some yeah. guy like that. And we'll but then it turns like, into this, like, oh, this, and, you know, Michael yeah, Che. Yeah, eventually Michael Che is saying Santa Claus isn't a Christmas guy. You know, Max Weinberg <laughs> saying it. <laughs> oh man, the, the big two. Yeah, <laughs> the big two of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then we just rip them to pieces, man. Oh man! Oh man! Because yeah. I was all these these uh these streamers. They're always getting in fights now, and they are always just the fans of one streamer fighting the fans of the other. Seems like the streamers don't even have to do anything themselves. No, like what? What's a go off king? And I know I people like them. I and I, I'm, I'm sure I'm, they're wonderful. Like, oh, I'm I'm sure they're great. You guys, I'm fucking yeah. oh, dude, and and like huge come fan. Down, Come town and shop. Like, I'm sure yeah. they're good, you guys. Yeah, I'm so come sure. In, my lady. Come, yeah. come, my lady. That, you know, yeah. You know, a fucking crazy town. Uh, yeah. Oh. Podcast we, we do. Yeah. We could do a, uh, one of our things we talk about that, you know, everybody doesn't know is true. We'll be like, like crazy town was the best at performing butterfly. <laughs> crazy town was actually really punk rock. Yeah, they were so punk, dude. <laughs> that's a thing people like. Like, oh, this thing, this thing that's that's not good is actually. It's not that it's not yeah. good. It's actually punk rock. Yeah, no, it was actually like they were doing a lot of stuff about capitalism. Pornography. <laughs> Ant Man Two is actually really punk rock. Yeah, Ant Man Two is so punk rock because Ghost is <laughs> fighting against capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> I had another idea that I, yeah. I brought up to you briefly on, on a text chain. Yeah. And it was starting shell companies, but not shell companies, but shell podcasts that mm. we only do one episode on and we just use them, that, that fake podcast to net a celebrity. So like I had the idea of, the, of like an XFL podcast, but apparently on our Discord, somebody brought up like that there's like... 20 of them already which is insane yeah, yeah. fucking that's insane why, that's why we can get a power slap podcast though oh, holy shit. i've already kind of connected with one of the power slap guys <laughs> you do a lot of things without consulting me don't you yeah well i asked if he would slap ronnie radke and he said i'd sleep that motherfucker oh but yeah. also, he was like, I wouldn't want to because he's like kind of a rock and roller this power slap guy oh well, like he would want to no, he was like he'd like it would hurt me, but I would do it, which actually is really cool. Because if you slap someone you don't like, no big deal. Yeah, if you slap someone you like, <laughs> that's you're, tough. You're a psycho. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you need. You might not. They might need help. In, in all honesty. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have him on our show. <laughs> no. You've been watching much Power Slap, Franklin? You checked it I, out yet? I haven't. I, I I'm a before AEW guy. I love I love watching the last seven minutes of Young Sheldon. Yeah, uh, I've actually become a Young Sheldon truther. I think I, I don't I don't watch it, but I could see that it's probably okay. Like I think it's oh, probably all right. That's got great T Nelson. <laughs> there there you go. Mm. There you go. A lot of buy things I am, but Lingle's not one of them. No, <laughs> that's right, Craig. Um, no. I think um, it had uh, Wallace Shawn as well. 
Oh, yeah, he'll do anything these days. Notorious for his uh, Gossip Girl appearances. Pussy eating, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. He's, he's in like, Gossip Girl? Yeah, he is a Gossip Girl. And he's like, Sincerely, <laughs> Gossip Girl XOXO. <laughs> yeah, because he is the Gossip Girl. You fool! <laughs> you thought I was a young lady! XOXO. <laughs> what does the gossip girl even do? Does she's like I jerk- she's a blogger. She's a blogger, but she's like, oh, yeah. I, I jerked off the the captain of this the, the team here. It was you whatever. Know, she knows she'll be like, looks like Blair got caught. My handler's been watching gossip. Oh, girl. I I love this. I never got into gossip girl, but I think oh, yeah. I could. Yeah, I think you'd like it. It'll be like uh, so. No one knows who Gossip Girl is, but she narrates the episodes and. She'll she'll say, uh, is did is Blair in over her haunches with this polo plane mystery or something like that? Well, she's like headlines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She does. She basically speaks in headlines. <laughs> so wait, is that is that the length of her post? Is she just titles? It's just headlines. Pretty much. Yeah. It's like uh, you know, is uh, uh oh, Chuck. Looks like you're headed for another hostile takeover. So that's the subject of a post. What's the body? Like, yeah, then, the, then the show just, you know, we see it, them act it out. Okay, so the body is the sh- Got it now. Yeah, oh, it's, man. it's... I gotta admit, actually, it's a good... I don't... I, you know, it's one of those shows where I'll come in the room, sit down, watch about 10 minutes, and then go away. And, and you that, like it, huh? And in that context, it's one of the best shows. Okay. I like that. So, yeah, it, it, you know, you you aren't a Degrassi guy, but I think me and your handler have, have a very similar taste in our in yeah. our programming. Yeah. Oh, and, and uh, brother, you wouldn't guess who's in Gossip Girl, though. I know who. Yeah. I know you're gonna ask me. I already know what you're gonna say. Can we say it at the count of three? Yeah. One. One, two, three. Michelle Blake Trachtenberg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, I know Blake Lively's in that. Okay. Well, stars. Well, let's try again. Okay. One, two. Three. Blake Steve Lively. <laughs> Who? Stephen Baldwin. He's in it? Yeah, brother. What is he, like the principal? He's just some old nerd. <laughs> What's he doing with like the gossip girl? He's like a businessman. Is he dating Blake Lively? No, he just kind of stands around and looks at them. He purses his <laughs> he lips squints. and has oh. blue, blue eyes. I don't mean to be crass, yeah. but I think... Steve Baldwin? Is, they don't need him. No, well, not that. I don't mean that. No, the, the world doesn't need him. We've, no. got, we've grown past the need. <laughs> Society's We're... grown past the need for Steve Baldwin? No. Yeah. <laughs> God. I was going to say, I think he's probably bad at eating pussy. Can I say that? You can, brother. Go outside, nerd. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that one. Well, okay. Well, nonetheless. Uh, can I start that rumor? Steven Baldwin? Yeah. Terrible. At pussy eating. If, if any of our young lady listeners out there can uh, corroborate that, let us know. Yeah. 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 If Stephen Baldwin's ever unsatisfactorily <laughs> done whatever he does to you. <laughs> you won't say it? You get yeah. me to say it? I won't? <laughs> yeah. If he's ever, you know, just kind of uh, done a, you know, a, a little... What, what what do you call it again, Franklin? You know, if you never... say you say it for once, man. You have some fucking audio footage of you saying that, man. Uh, fucking yeah. hell! If Stephen Baldwin ever, <laughs> if Stephen Baldwin ever, uh, if, if Stephen Baldwin ever ate your pussy, you might be entitled <laughs> to compensation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to say as a man. That's a fair... <laughs> you ever have a conversation with a, with a few of the guys and a few beers and you talk about, you know... Sue Baldwin just going to town. <laughs> just, just like... I'm just picturing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Big Match John, for uh, steering the show back on track here. He'll say it. <laughs> He'll say it. If Stephen Baldwin's any good at eating your boobies, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if you were a guy who had half of an idea how sex works? You were just like, "Oh, baby, I can't wait to eat out your boobies." 
Won't the alien have the idea? <laughs> well, you know, eating out exists. You just like, don't know, so, you um, don't know um, the other um, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you just go down. I mean, there, I mean, a lot of a lot of people would love that. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a pretty good thing. <laughs> you just call it a day after that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what about you? What about me? We're done I mean, here. I already yeah. did. What, I already did what I'm supposed I'd, to. I'd like. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> it's like she's like, did you, like, did you come? Yeah. It's like okay. Yeah. Well, now go. <laughs> All right. Well, you start reading. A, you read a book afterwards or something. Yeah. All right. Well. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Get a little. Oh, can I shake your hand or? Uh... <laughs> yeah, hey, shake. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, so like, what would the sex scene be like? <laughs> Just oh, like if you're that guy, if you're that guy, oh, I can't is. wait to go to do yeah, that. It's, it's like I'm rubbing, running my hand up your thigh, <laughs> and then uh, now I went up your side. Now my hands up on your arm. <laughs> now my hands on your face. <laughs> I'd yeah. love to bend you over and leave you there. Yeah, I guess. Like my my point is like they they guess they wouldn't be receptive to what, the other stuff like oh and I can't wait to start start gra- you know jerking you off and like uh thanks I guess. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> okay, back on track here. Yeah. Oh man, that's a that's a cool guy. We that's a cool right? guy. This is, this is a character, right? This is the yeah. I think this is a character, right? Here. Right? Yeah. This is this is yeah. Gonna pitch this to the the geniuses at a uh, Mad TV. Yeah. I I stabbed a man in the heart. Whoops. Okay. Twice. I mean, uh, Sorry to bother you, big boy. <laughs> that's fine. That one's all right, man. I I tried something. It didn't work. It's okay. I, it's I was very... trying to program the computer. It was very difficult to navigate. Uh, mm-hmm. Like you can't just scroll down. Like the toolbar, the address bar. I you think we got. Uh, there were some of them are repeated in here now. Yeah, some of them are repeated for the day that uh, I lost uh, that they weren't there, and I yeah. just had to upload them again. So you have like the Jawa one or some other yeah. ones that are just there twice. Oh, what I wouldn't give to get you down on your knees and then give you a big kiss on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> the Jawa is also notorious. How about new? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Pe- Pele Moto did say they were furry. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she was like very furry. <laughs> yeah, did she even mimic your technique? Yeah, yeah. She said that's how they do it. That's how they do it. <laughs> I want more than anything to see a Jawa's face. No. You don't want to see that? No, you can't break that. You can't, you can't, you know, there's, there's two things George Lucas, well, one thing George Lucas always said. What's that, brother? Well, uh, the, the, the locations of where Yoda and his, what Yoda species, mm-hmm. that has to remain a mystery. Forever. Like that, that you can't know, like where yeah. it's from what, or like or information about his species. Yeah. You don't get to know that. Yeah. Every other species. Okay. <laughs> Every other species, you know what they are. You know yeah. where the you know except where the Jawas. Well, no, except Yoda. Oh. What Jawas, if, whatever. What if Jawas are Yodas, just wearing a little suit? Their ears would be poking through their sides. No, nah, they smoosh them down. Smoosh them down. My right my down. dog has pokey uppy ears, but you can smoosh her ears down. And sometimes if she's tired, her ears just lay down. They just lay down. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. There's, they're not, they're not Yodas. They, they speak differently. Well, Yoda's a tricky little guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's actually Yoda's not very tricky. No, you know, I, I saw a photo of Yoda on the internet once. You know what he was doing? Eating olives. Nope. Keep thinking. What? We were talking about it three minutes oh, ago. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. It's he, a drawing. Yeah, he laid a lady down. <laughs> And he went to town on her boobs. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's cool, man. <laughs> the olives I, one is a classic, though. I do love that olives one. Love that, that, one that one made me laugh, brother. <laughs> I don't often laugh at stuff I see on the internet, man. I was laughing. <laughs> that one's funny. Yeah, that one is real funny, brother. <sighs>
So uh, off air, you uh, you referenced something I didn't know about. Oh yeah, this so is I'll, this yeah. is a historical event, brother. <laughs> no, I, I, you know I've been reading uh, Crazy from the Heat, uh, written by David Lee Roth on our Patreon, mm. and I read a good chapter recently about uh, the Van Halen reunion that just wasn't to be in the '97. Yeah. Because and, they didn't get along. Yes, and then Diamond you Day. made a reference to something I did not know about. What did you say? So, yeah, so uh, our, our local morning radio guys, Dog, Joe, and Dana, that's three people, one girl. That's is Dana. she the voice of reason? She is the voice of reason. She's just <laughs> always laughing at them, you know, mm-hmm. like like uh, a dog is like a pretty like uh, wild guy and he's like he's always like yeah i had a little too much whiskey tomorrow you know yesterday morning watching my uh, watching my 49ers lose so i ate a bunch of meat you know <laughs> <laughs> i love it yeah he's cool and then joe's kind of like a more like liberal guy like he's like oh man you know when these guys are going to jail it's like, sh- shouldn't the point of it be to, you know, get them better, not just drive them crazy? And Don's uh, like, you're crazy! And then Dana's just laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, she's just in it for the jokes. I respect her. Um, what hour do you listen to them? They're on at like 8 in the morning. So like, but they like start at like 6, don't they? They start way early, yeah. Jesus! Yeah, I, I, yeah that's, all, that's all of them, don't, isn't it? Yeah, it's like every, you have Paul and Young Ron. Paul and Young them. Ron, like, the like yeah, they like... I remember the, driving the to the like, Jubal show all yeah. of them early morning. Jubal's nationally syndicated. And, oh, don't get me started on like him. He makes me sick. Um, but the cum sponge? Yeah. Well, the other day, my handler texted me and just said, Have you heard of Bubba the Love Sponge? And I said, Of course. And then she didn't follow up on it. So I, <laughs> I think that's what? the right course of action. And then, <laughs> and then they took their things and left. Yeah, she was like, All right, good enough. Um, <laughs> So, so anyway, a uh, dog who's a big fan of uh, of Hagar era Van Halen. He calls mm. he calls Diamond Dave Cubic Zirconium Dave. That is fucked, and he wouldn't say it to his fucking face. No, because he would get karate kicked if he said that shit. Right? Mm-hmm. But um, but uh, he was telling a story about Sammy Hagar had a dream the other night, and it was uh, this this story is beautiful, Franklin. This, this touches my heart. Also, I can't play any more drops. They seem to have died. Um, How has this only happened with you? Because I'm a bad boy. Man, I mean, that's fine. Can I play a drop? I, I try. Guess, let me see. I guess not. The uncles don't even care. This is only happening with you. This is so fucking... The uncles don't even care. Did that work? Oh, wait, do it again. The uncles don't even care. Yeah, there it is. So now I'm in charge here. Okay, here. Well, I did a good job to start. The cream of the crop. I was the cream of the crop. No, crack. you weren't. That was an accident. I did not mean for that to be relevant. Well, anyway, listen, anyway. Sammy bozy, H- bozy, bop. Bozy, bozy, bop. Uh, Sammy Hagar had a dream that Eddie came to him. Eddie, you know, has gone to heaven now. He's in heaven. The Edward? Guitar. Edward Van Halen, he's gone to guitar heaven where he's mm-hmm. shredding up a storm like a snuff. And he had a dream that Eddie came to him and said, hey, Jack, I want to teach you a crazy little riff. And, it, and in his dream, he taught Sammy Hagar this riff. It was like, mm-hmm. And then Sammy Hagar woke up and he wrote it down. And now they're going to make a song. And it's called like, Thank You or something. And it's going to be his tribute to Eddie. And it's just going to be all about him uh, shredding up his guitar. But Eddie Van Halen hated Sammy Hagar. I thought he was a money grubbing jerk. Yeah, no, that that I do recall. I read again a little bit about that in our Patreon. Yeah, and, yeah. I need to speak to you about whose cock my daughter's been sucking. Man, that would be Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar didn't have a good voice. Suck it on, chill it out. What was that? Sammy Hagar had a hell of a good voice, though, brother. Yeah, I'm not. We I'm need to get point we need to get real into Van Halen, you and me. We like, really we like, do. We like him as like an icon, but we need to get into him as a band. You know? Yeah, like I I respect them for who they are, but their music I can't say I'm necessarily a huge fan of. Yeah, but I don't know a lot of it. I, I mean, running with I the should. devil. Running with the devil. Yeah. yeah. 
And I like Panama. Uh, and I like Panama. I like one break coming right up. Yeah. Hey, and what about Hot for Teacher? Oh, this is just David Lee Roth, though. No, that's Van Halen. Yeah, I got a yeah. bad, so bad. That's all. I'm that's hot all Franklin. Hey, that's all David Lee Roth era, though. Yeah, but well, there was good Sammy Hagar stuff. What about right now? Right now was was really excellent, and yeah, it was beautiful. Right now was like the first music video, if you remember, of like words and stuff. That was yeah, like, it was like artistic. It was. It was just like dun, 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 dun. like they had the pianos. Like oh shit, like this yeah. is the most I important remember. thing, the most important song of our life. Yeah, I remember watching that and being like, oh wow, this is like religion. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? It, it yeah. was. It was. You know, it's fucked up. If you look up right, uh, I put, I looked up right on. I'm like. That's not right, right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> so in the right now, you want me to read you some of the things that uh, show yeah, up? Yeah, what it up? says. Okay, yeah, I, I will gladly do that um, after the YouTube ads uh, for Yingling Beer. I know one thing it said which upset me, which was right now God is killing dogs and moms because he has to. Fuck. Yeah, that shit's fucked up. Dude. Right now, people are having unprotected sex. Yeah. Right now, opportunity is passing you by. What the fuck? Fuck you. Yeah. Right now, justice is being perverted in a court of law. What? Oh, I bet it is, brother, and I bet I got something to do with that. <laughs> right now, uh, guilt is turning someone inside out. That's kind of cool. Yeah, right now someone is working too hard for a minimum wage. Yeah, that's see, this is, this is socialism, brother. This is like the first podcast. Yeah, <laughs> it's the first podcast. Yeah, right now science is building a better tomato. Yeah, tomato. Uh, I got it. Yeah. Right now, pigs are becoming lunch. Oh, that's oh, deep. Oh, that is a little deep, dude. Yeah, the song was also used in a Crystal Pepsi commercial. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of uh, lessens the message, doesn't it? Yeah, hey, someone's working too hard for minimum wage, but on the other hand, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Right now, your memory's getting longer while your life is getting shorter. Like, fuck you. Damn, dude. Yeah. Uh, this is cool. But Sarah Palin wanted to use it as her uh, running music, and Alex and Eddie both said permission was not so sought or granted, nor would it have been given. No shit. Didn't uh, Trump have an issue with Aerosmith as well? But Hagar said it would have been fine with him. Uh, Trump <laughs> used the song too. Yeah, I think so. I know. Uh, these, he said these... a cease and desist. Damn. Dude. Aerosmith did not want any part of Trump. Is that Aerosmith's so fucking cool, dude? Yeah, I think he was the first person to dislike Trump. Yeah, Aerosmith was like the first guy to hate Trump. Also, you know, my I was talking to my friend about uh, uh, Aerosmith, you know, because he got in some trouble for some stuff he did in like the 70s. Yeah. But he apparently, uh, he was like the first guy to admit it and be like, that was really messed up. Like, I need to make amends for what I did. So. So maybe Shampoodler needs to chill the fuck out. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see Shampoodler shake Aerosmith's hand. Yep. I, I, I would like to see that, actually. I would love to see that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'd I'd love to see? I'd love to see a shampoodler in a dunk tank. It's a run by fruiting. Yeah, dunk tank. That'd be that'd be good. Uh, yeah, with with Jello. I, 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 and he's wearing a bikini. <laughs> I, I've always been partial to your Jack Allison in the dunk tank. I know, I know, but I don't talk to Jack no more. <laughs> the thing is, he would be so annoying after getting dunked. He's like, oh wow, now I'm moderately wet. In yeah. a tank, and I'm oh, sitting oh back. Oh no! I it's ninety degrees outside, and now I'm cool and wet. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, this motherfucker! I just want to get him again. You know, it doesn't matter whether or not Jack goes in a dunk tank or not, because he's already all wet. I don't get what is he is he forty? Is he no? Wet? That's just that's like a thing like people say about like a guy who's like a like a loser. You're like, oh, in like the seventies, maybe. That's yeah, like a Tony Clifton insult. Boy, I must have gone fishing and caught Jack Allison because he's a cold fish and he's all wet. 
cold fish I've heard, but not yeah, like all yeah. wet, all wet, man. Like it, yeah, you know, Wallace cool Shawn thing. when he gets them all wet, it's it's a it's a different type. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's when it's going down on their boobs. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! Hey, man, that ain't nice. Well, you're getting the word wrong. It's not... No, it's like you say you're all wet, man. Oh, oh fooey, you're all you're nothing but a fink. You're all wet. I, I guess. I guess. Uh, it's it's like that's if your uncle talking. That's right. It is Obi Wan. <laughs> if you're if you're a little guy going around with a, a slingshot in your mm-hmm. back pocket and a frog and a propeller hat, you're calling people all wet. All right, all right. She gave me a hand job, not a blowy. There we go. Anyway, that guy's in a new show. What's that? Right. One of them uh, in between her kids is in a new show. I saw. No shit. Yeah. Which one? The nerd. Oh, Will. Yeah. It's like, oh, right. Yeah. That's good. Uh, actually, the... you are. You are. You quoted Yoda. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was great. Uh... <laughs> So, I hope there's an in betweeners tour of England. Like, you know, we have the Sex in the City tour in New yeah. York City. Of like, you go to Magnolias, you know. Can I go to like one of the, I guess, like pubs? Wouldn't it be the... sick if they did an in betweeners come to America thing? Yo. Kind of... Man, imagine them meeting all these fit birds over here. Oh my God. They wouldn't know it. To... They, they got to go to South Beach. Yeah, they gotta go to South Beach. They gotta go to Hollywood. Oh my God! They, yeah, Hollywood would be dope too. It's like, you know, they just saw like Russell Crowe and he like fights one of them or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they would they would have to go to like Williamsburg and see some like hipsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just, just that would be funny. You that know? would be funny. It's like, yeah, hey, these birds having a laugh here. Yeah, and they're like, oh, actually, you're incredibly problematic. <laughs> yeah, I think Jay would be considered. Yeah, Jay would be pretty problematic. <laughs> oh, she's dripping wet, she is. <laughs> There's a, a line from the Intertweeners. If, uh, uh, it's, uh, you can quote it, it's fine. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's uh, just follow the puddles, mate. She's that freaking wet for you. <laughs> It sounds ridiculous. It's, I mean, that's cool. That's cool, but it sounds like they have an ailment. Yeah. Oh, they do, brother. So, uh, we were speaking of Trump earlier. Yeah. And yeah. I was thinking that, you know, thinking back that Trump was at the premiere of The Phantom Menace. Yeah. Do, do you think Trump took anything away from Newt Gunray's trade policy? I think he thought he was a very funny character. <laughs> <laughs> George, the... I didn't understand a thing about the movie, but that Newt Gunray, I was laughing. <laughs> oh, man. man that, yeah, I don't know. I think he maybe he learned something from the trade policy. Mm. I think he, he pro- oh, do you think he got really worried about Anakin during the pod racing scene? <laughs> it was like, like, this little boy's in terrible danger. <laughs> George, I wouldn't let a child drive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gonna have to agree to disagree with you there, George. I wonder if George likes uh, Trump. He's a, George is so. a liberal, right? Yeah. George is very liberal, like very, yeah. very. Oh, like, he's a lefty loony. He's he's a good people, man. Yeah, we'll see. How ISIS just, wants to get you. That was good. That was good of Trump. <laughs> to worry about that <laughs> if if i knew like uh i'm trying to think who my worst enemy is like i mean it's no one's business who it is but if i knew uh if i knew isis wanted to get him i'd keep my mouth shut <laughs> you're a dick oh, pff, dude that's between them and isis i'm not getting in between yeah, isis that's true. that's true yeah isis I got no, I got no heat with you. <laughs> yeah, hey brother, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I got no heat with you, man. Yeah, ISIS ain't never done nothing to me, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like when a face wrestler doesn't come to the rescue of another face that's getting beat down, and they're like, "Hey, yeah. I got no heat with you, man." Yeah, it's like, hey, I was on my own for. That it's like one. when the rock, like the rock, wouldn't save Stone Cold from a beat down. He's like, "Hey, that's between you and them." Like, yeah, like you're still a face, but like. You don't get involved in that bullshit. Like, yeah, no. that ain't your battle. What if in wrestling, every face and every heel had to stick up for each other, though? 
See, I think they already kind of do, which is a bit of a problem to some extent. I, yeah. It's Every like show. Hook and Jungle Boy. Yeah. Uh, hey, we're both good guys. Yeah. Like, you, you know uh, what? Though? They both love sex. Not as much as Wallace Shawn. Uh, Wallace Shawn taught him everything he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man. Big yeah. Ben, we have traditions here in the king size bed, don't we? We sure do, brother. And, and we love, love to sit down and watch the movies. Oh, you had it. I did have it. I thought I was gone, but then I typed an M O into the media bank, and uh, <laughs> there it was. That's so beautiful. Every single night, me and my uncle Howard, we like to sit down in our king size bed and watch a couple of movies. And this week. Well, my movie's very long and, quite frankly, not very good. It's called Chernobyl. Oh, well, that sounds boring. It is boring, and we don't have a choice but to watch it. Yeah, that's because, the rules. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, you think it might be okay because you got Stellan Skarsgård, is it? Oh, now? yeah. That's right, from Andor. Yep, from Avengers 1. From Avengers 1, from Andor. So you got a guy from Star Wars and Andor, and yeah. then yet something. Yet the role he's in is this like a politician. His name's like Boris or something other. <laughs> and they're just like, you have to hide that this was a, that this could have been prevented. Bro, I don't care. That sounds boring. I don't understand, and I mentioned this earlier in the Discord. Why do white people need to feel depressed? Because their lives are good otherwise. That's I it, think that's, that's it, you know? Yeah, you, you nailed it on the head. Because other, my, like, my there's no point. My life's too this. easy. Boo hoo hoo hoo. I better listen to a song where a little nerd strums an acoustic guitar. <laughs> that's dead on. This, there's this one. So get this. This is what I recall from having it on in the background. Yeah. Uh, there's some mine workers like coal mines and yeah. like it's very hot there and the guy's like we need a fan he's like we can't give you a fan because you'd be breathing in some toxic shit and I guess they're trying to stop the spread right yeah and so they're working naked so you're seeing all these guys butts you're seeing all their dicks and they're just working in the mines naked you nice. know well yeah that's nice and that's cool yeah. and all but like I didn't know that was gonna happen either like I wish I, uh, I wish I had a warning ready. before that scene. Yeah, yeah. So you could have paused it. <laughs> no, they they weren't in like great shape. They're just like regular Joes. Oh, yeah. This isn't like Channing Tatum and fucking Miles Teller, dude. This you know is what? Just... everybody deserves a chance. Okay, okay. Well, it ain't for me. All right. Like, okay. Can I put it that way? It ain't for me. All right. Fair enough. So you know you got these naked guys. Okay, great, whatever. That was cool. You guys can work naked in in a coal mine, I guess. I I ain't gonna stop you, brother. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put a, a t shirt on your back. <laughs> but so then you see some burn victims and some fucking. It's like oh that's gross. And it's like my husband's dying. And it's just like a lot of people are dying, man. And then it's just oh my god, dude. It's so fucking boring. It's so bad. I hate it so much. Oh man, I can't why wait to watch it tonight. Is yeah, I'm sorry that it's happening, but is that why people don't like Craig Mazin? Because I I wasn't paying attention to that on Twitter, and uh, like they don't like him because he did that show, or they don't like him because what politics or Hangover Two? What I thought, I oh yeah, I thought it was, he did a Hangover Two, man. Now, he did do Hangover Two, and then he does this. He lays an egg here. This wasn't funny at all. Hangover Two wasn't that funny. I mean, okay, but it was a lot better than Chernobyl. Good as hell. Oh, and he did The Last of Us too. This guy sucks. They call it Tlu. If you Tlu, Tlu. Yeah. I, I hate yeah. that. I hate our acronym. Tlu. Oh, Tlu, cute little baby. And of course, that's depressing too because you know, you know, you can't. You know, yeah, because it's, it's got some whites in it, dude. Well, well, but it has Pedro. It has the Mandalorian. That's not. That's no white. Yeah, well, no, it's not, but it's still that shows four whites. It is four whites. It is four whites. That's for, that's for sure. And I, I've tried watching that as well. I got to season three of it, and I'm just not a fan. Yeah, no, I beat it, but uh, I didn't beat like the. It. You did beat the game. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I beat the show. <laughs> you beat the show. Yeah, it was yeah. like a choose your own adventure type thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was like. Uh, 
you know, hey, do you want to fight the zombies or yeah. do you want to hide? And I said, oh, let's hide. Let's <laughs> you you want to know what's funny, actually, that you bring that up? Hmm. Me and Bert did the Netflix, uh, the, the Undertaker interactive one. Yeah. Oh, was Theor- it cool? Theoretically, it could go on forever if you don't, like, you know with the New Day? <laughs> You're with the New Day, right? And like you, yeah. you could go on their three adventures, and like, so the New Day, the New Day, to close to the end, have a choice: like, uh, stay, you know, unite as a group or side with the Undertaker and turn their backs on the New Day. So me and Bert oh. kept selecting: okay, Kofi will side with the Undertaker. Okay, uh, Big E will side with the Undertaker. Uh, Xavier will side with the Undertaker. And it just kept going. We had to unite, and that was the only way for the show to end. That's embarrassing. The, like, the thing is, it, it, in theory, it's only 45 minutes. Me and Bert right. were watching it for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I hated yeah. it. You do it. You do the damn thing, dude. I okay. urge you. I will do it. It would be, you know, it would be cool actually if Big E joined with the Undertaker and he'd be like a dark sided wrestler. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, he might as well be dark sided. He's like too. He's too cool to be a happy guy. He is too cool to be a happy guy. Yeah, no one wants to see that. Yeah, he needs to get revenge on whatever fucking guy injured him, man. Yeah, Brick Baxton or whatever. <laughs> it was just like the British guy with like no knee pads. And yeah, the, the flat Dom DeLuise hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Dom DeLuise would be a hell of a worker, though. I heard he died. Yeah, may he rest in peace. Mm. Uh, well, I can't wait to watch this movie. Did you know also that uh, Craig Mazin wrote uh, The Huntsman of Winter's War? No. Yeah. That's uh... quite a talent. Fucking hell. Is that why people don't like him or do not like him? It's like, oh, he's a neoliberal. He also wrote Senseless with uh, Marlon Wayans, David Spade. And David Spade. You will, or... Dude. Okay, maybe he's all right. Yeah, he is pretty cool. He's pretty cool, man. (laughs) All right, we're going to... On our uh, Uncle Uncle Mount Rushmore, we're going to put Craig Mazin... Dr. Conrad Murray. Dr. Conrad Murray. Rocky Donna Dierico. Donna Dierico. Yeah. For equality. Yeah. Yasmin Bleeth. Yasmin Bleeth. Mm. Carmen Electra. No, yeah. Pamela Anderson. That's right. Pam Anderson. Pam Anderson. That's a good one. The Pammies. Pam, the Pammy. The Pammy Virgin Cola bottle. Yeah, that's something for daddy. <laughs> I picked a boring movie, too. Oh, boy. Lay it on me, man. I well, guess we're in it for we, tonight. We watched it last time, I think, but I don't know that we got it all. I felt like maybe there's something to this, this movie that we didn't pick up. <laughs> oh, no. And I think it, it deserves another watch. I think we should watch Black Panther 2, Wakanda <laughs> Forever, once well, again. Well, look, it is a great movie. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the best movies. <laughs> yes. But it's so, but, but it's boring. But it's so boring and so bad. Like, yeah. I can't stand it. That's why we gotta watch it again. Maybe it is I good. I think we watched it wrong. We may have watched it wrong. Like, don't get me wrong. It's great. But yeah, like, it's like so amazing. But like, but... I, I found myself getting really bored in the beginning and really bored in the middle. Yeah, and so bored at the end. I was really hoping for it to end when it did. Yeah, I. It was so boring that at points I was getting actively angry at it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it's, I think it's really good, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's really good. Like, don't, don't get me wrong here. You know, yeah. it's just, like, there's no resolution. They just kind of stop fighting. And I, yeah, I, I'm not a, crazy hey, about let's that. Call it a, let's call it a draw. And then, like, you don't see the suit until, like, almost two hours into the movie. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't see the yeah. Black Panther suit. Yeah, no, and um, there's a, there's a teenage girl who builds a little Iron Man suit, and then at the end she says, "I get to keep that instead of letting the girl take her suit back," which yeah. is cool. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, I loved that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep that away from her. I liked how Elaine was in it and was yeah. still really boring in that somehow. She wasn't funny. She never pushed. Her ex-husband and said, "Get out." Yeah, 
<laughs> she did. I mean, how how typical would that have been? Right. Uh, the guy who's not Agent Coulson, but he's yeah. essentially Agent Coulson, is also uh-huh. in that. Yeah, he's very funny. Oh yeah, he's. I mean, it's a fantastic movie, but man, I don't but, know if I can get through that again. I I would rather watch Eternals again than watch. I, watch would you movie, rather? Yeah. That, I don't. You know. I laughed at some points in Eternals. Yeah. Uh, and, Kumail was funny. He was legit funny in it. Like, there is some like, I, I am not advocating for fucking Eternals. Dude. But on God. the other hand, it was very good. Uh, yeah, look, like, when you're talking Wakanda Forever, you're talking a great movie. It's just, it's just, like, not, it's just not very entertaining, you know? No. Like it's it, not it's, not entertaining at all. It's so boring. It's, but on the other hand, it's so good. Oh, dude! Like, fucking, like, great movie. But yeah, it's it's like a perfect movie in a lot of ways. <laughs> in many ways, you could yeah. you could say that it is the the quintessential, uh, perfect, you know, movie. I liked how um, the number. One... I hate them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good. Good night of movies for us. Oh yeah. No. Oh, what are you see? What are you doing, up. man? I my cat jumped up on my lap and oh. knocked my phone off. Like oh, that. okay. See, I don't mind it when it's the cat. I, 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 I naturally assumed, even though I'm in the same room with you, that it was yeah. some. You know, I, I apologize. Michael Jackson has died. I apologize. I, I got I, that back. What's that? And did you hear that? You got it back. Well. Yeah. well. It's a, it's a fucking miracle here. Yeah, the bar's fucking closed. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious, right? <laughs> hey, do you want to do a couple of questions from our ding dongs? Yeah. I, oh man, I wish you didn't say that. Fifty-seven minutes in, but yeah. yeah we'll just do two of them. I got two, all right. Yeah, I got twenty-two. Um, all right, there's some good ones though that I yeah, there are they, some good they, ones. they do deserve us to answer them. I'm just, did we answer this question from Doc about the celebrity cause? I think we did, right? No, we didn't. It was a good oh, question too. Yeah, okay, this is from the Doc. He's one of the best. If the uncles had to get celebs together to sing a song for a cause, who would be the celebs to sing the song? What would be the song and what would be the cause? So, I don't know what the song would be. I would want a custom song because I don't think. Yeah, was Children original. of the World a, a, an original song? Yeah, I think so. So, like, yeah, I would want to tailor to the cause. Mm-hmm. And my cause would be uh, bringing awareness to not discriminate against people who, who urinate in bottles because you don't know why they piss in bottles. They might have a legit reason to piss in bottles. Beautiful. So for bottle pissers is the cause, and the celebs would be uh, Richard Grieco, mm-hmm. Chris Kattan. Yeah. David Lee Raw. Beautiful. Carmen Electra. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, Jenny McCarthy. Mm hmm. Mm, you know, Mandy Moore. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Jessica Simpson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that's about it. Elizabeth Hurley. All of the stars. You know, Halle Berry. Beverly D'Angelo. Beverly D'Angelo. <laughs> Joey Heatherton. <laughs> oh, oh now that's a season one, brother. <laughs> yeah. You know, all the greats. And, uh, yeah. you know, bringing awareness to urinating in bottles. Because a lot of times people will piss in a bottle and they'll get, like, scoffed for it. And yeah. you don't know why they did it. Yeah. Yeah. A one just because a man pissed in a bottle doesn't mean you should piss on his dreams. You can't define a person because they've pissed in a bottle before. No, that's not everything they are. It's just part of it. <laughs> it's a big part of it. Yeah, but not all of it. Oh, not all of it. To... Hello. <laughs> you look at her. Yeah, I gotta remind myself. Um. Oh, she got old. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look at her in the 1950s. Great. Yeah. That's something else. <laughs> you look at her now. The 1950s, that must have been a hell of a time to be alive. <laughs> Let me see. What, what? Maybe not the 1950s, but... I don't know. And then back in the days, though. No, no, because, no, yeah, not the 1950s. Let me correct that. The 1960s. 60s. 60s. Yeah. They're like the same, dude. What's the difference? <laughs> well, 
Uh, Joey Heatherton, man. Joey Heatherton status, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at her. She was on a boat, and these sailors are taking a good look. <laughs> Wouldn't you, buddy? Yeah, I mean, if I've been on a submarine for the last three years, and all of a sudden Joey Heatherton's wearing a unitard parade You around, might, like, your balls might break. Yo, I might be the one who's teaching Wallace Shawn something. <laughs> You want to get the next uh, one here? Oh, yeah. Um, let me take a look here. Stop that. No, nah, it's okay. It's okay. The cats are fighting with each other now. Oh, boy. Um, oh, okay. This is from a Benetext. Benetext. Yeah. He says, are the Creed films in the MCU, since Killmonger dates Valkyrie from Thor in them and is trained by Stakar Ogord from Guardians of the Galaxy and is going to fight Kang in the new one? God damn, our boy I mean, did some work here. Yeah, that is some six degrees. Of Man, and it's the car Og- Ogord. Yeah. You'll never hear the sound of the party of the horns. You'll never be a ravager no more. <laughs> You'll never hear the horns of the ravagers at your funeral. It's like, <laughs> I would be dead, dumbass. Dude, that would be devastating to hear, though. <laughs> yeah. That. The horns of the ravagers would never play at your funeral. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, fuck. Fuck me. Weren't they at, like, a brothel when he said that? Yeah, dude. They're getting in a fight at a brothel? <laughs> yeah, man. That's a bad dude, man. Staccaro Gord. Um, I mean, no, these movies aren't in the MCU just because... It's like Staccaro Gord's way cooler than Rocky, which I've never even seen a Rocky movie. I've never seen it despite having uh, Terry Balea. <laughs> Can you guys chill out? These cats, frankly, hey, I'm sorry man, they, they go at it sometimes, man. You yeah. know, you know what? They fight like dogs, even though they're cats. <laughs> hey, hey, listen up, cats. You mother. Okay, I think they heard that. <laughs> All right, you want to get this next question, man? Uh, yes, I do actually. Uh, let me what? pull it right up here. Could the Flintstones kill the Jetsons? Now, this is asked by our good friend uh, Alex Ferrer. And yeah. uh, definitively, unequivocally, yes, it would be a yes. barbaric mess. Yeah, it would be a disaster, dude. God, it would be yeah. a legit crime scene. Yeah, because the Flintstones have savagery on their side. Yes. The, Fl- the Jetsons are coddled, they're soft. They Mm -hmm. live in their future technology world. They've got a robot maid that does everything for them. Throw throw George on that fucking uh, treadmill. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Meanwhile, Fred Flintstone, he can lift up an entire brontosaurus just by himself. That's right. Yeah. (laughs) It's no contest. Bam Bam is fucking strong. (laughs) Bam Bam is enough alone, man. Yeah. (laughs) You you know, the Heat's player, uh, Idris Adebayo... Nicknamed yeah. Bam Adebayo. Bam. Yep. Got that nickname from his uh, from his mom because he loved the Flintstones. Yeah, the only kid who ever did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, season seven is when his show hits its stride. Yeah. Oh, I love when they're running around buying stuff. Yeah. yeah. Every you. episode of the, of the Flintstones is very unique. <laughs> I love it. Maybe like Viva Rock Vegas. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, Stephen Baldwin was in one of them movies. <laughs> yes, he took, he took the place of John Goodman. Mm-hmm. What a what fucking a downgrade. <laughs> a good man to a bad pussy eater. Yeah, he won't even eat your pussy. He'll eat your boobs. Okay, whatever. Uh, um. Well. There's another question here. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. There's a couple more that... Isn't a question, oh. but have you ever heard the theory that they both existed in a post-apocalyptic world where the rich lived in the clouds and the poor worked to rebuild Earth? Have you heard like of that? Elysium. No, That's what John's that's... talking about. That is Elysium. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of it now. I'll probably watch Elysium tonight, though. You've been on, an, uh, on a kick of that uh, on a District camp. 9. Yeah, that me and uh, Dean and Nate watched uh, Chappie, brother. Oh, that boy, movie, 4 a.m.? People... Yeah, people make fun of that movie, dude. That movie. Have you seen that, Franklin? Is it It was fine. It's fucking good. Yeah, that movie's okay. fucking good, dude. Yeah, that's good. That movie's good. All right. It's. What is it? It's good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um. 
<clears throat> yeah, okay. Then we got another question. That's a good point, John. I haven't heard that, but I think it's right. I, I, um, I that's like I, I, that's you know what? I thought they just lived at the top of the skyscrapers, and yeah, uh, like Trump, like Trump. But I thought it'd be cool if the skyscrapers were all connected by uh, fuck. What are those things called, man? Uh, oh, uh, escalators. Zip-lines. Like the flat oh. escalators at airports, and you just connect yeah. all the skies. Wouldn't that be cool to connect the skyscrapers to just like all these different like fucking escalators? At the yeah, top? that way. You know, in in some big cities where it gets super cold, like in Minneapolis or whatever, they got those like walkways between buildings, so you don't yeah. have to go outside. Why not have it at the fucking to highest point in the building? Yeah, that way you can be man on wire all the time. Yeah, holy shit! Yeah, that's beautiful stuff. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right, I think right. I think that's all of them, huh? No, we we got here's one from Astro Pro. Oh right, right. Yeah, I mean, this guy is so clutch. He's one of those dudes. He doesn't say anything except to just post content that you like to see, and it's so, always funny. Yeah, I love that kind of dude. Yeah, that's the he, kind he, of. Guy I, I legit like. do. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the people that say a lot of stuff. Uh, he says, "Would the Unks rather win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, or Tony Award?" Man, that's I a got good question. My answer. You I have your... I, I mean, so the Oscar seems like it's got the most swag, right? Sure. But I'd rather win an Emmy because TV is my favorite thing to watch. That's true. Does Chris Kattan have an Emmy? <laughs> he must. He's been on TV. Yeah. You know what? What's... Baywatch never got an Emmy. It's well, the longest show. That's how in... competitive it is. No, but it's the longest show in history. To the, long... get an the longest Emmy? running show in history to never receive an Emmy. That's really messed up. Has WWE Raw won a, or an Emmy? Uh, I don't know. Supernatural actually overtook Baywatch because they've had more seasons without ever winning an Emmy. And they no, eventually no did. Does WWE have an Emmy? Let me look that up now before we... Does WWE have an M- Emmy? WWE has submitted the uh, tribute. They've, they can only submit tribute to the troops for Emmy consideration. Oh, that's nice. What the fuck? The worst episode? Yeah, hey, that's fucked up. Chris Kattan has won. He's been nominated for two Teen Choice Awards. No okay, what the big surfboard? Uh, yeah, he won a Bonehead Award, <laughs> and he was nominated for the Hoboken International Film Festival Award. Well, it's a good thing he didn't win that. Yeah, Bullshit. but he did win the Best Actor from the Boneheads in 2013. The Boneheads are out of the Muskogee, Oklahoma Arts Institute cool yeah boy that's a, something to put a feather in your cap in. yeah so i'm reading that wwe is shut out from the emmys according to reddit here well, that's that's you know why because bigotry yeah so they tried to make a big push at the four-year consideration party last month in los angeles this is five years ago uh but they failed to land any nominations on the 2018 emmys so if they won't have WWE, they won't have me. So uh, I think an Oscar. Yeah. Will be. And brother, I mean, you you to unwrap all that foil and get a nice chocolate right there, buddy. Oh, that would be yum yum. I got like a sweet a Easter tooth. bunny. Yeah, I, I crack, I crack that open. I I, cl- I crack it in half and give the other half to my favorite uncle. Franklin, I'm gonna get us involved in the Bare Bones International Film Festival. <laughs> Great. I'm not kidding. As soon as we're done recording, I'm going to shoot him an email and say I'm the I'm the co-host of a internationally renowned podcast with a strong focus on music and movies. Mm-hmm. Um, we we love to shine a light on the lesser known. Oh aspects. my gosh, that's a good email. And, yeah, and um, we would consider it a great honor to uh, you know to lend our services. To the bare bones international film, so this is, it, it showcases independent motion picture projects with budgets of less than a million dollars. Oh, okay. Well, we definitely qualify. We could do that. Yeah, we've got a. We don't even. We've got such a low budget. We don't even film it. No, that's right. <laughs> so we got a film an episode. We could. Well, but I'm saying maybe we could be like the MCs or something. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, they were listed on one of the 25 film festivals worth the entrance fee. Hey. Well, what's it called again? The Bonesaw? Bare Bones International Film Festival. 
The Bare Bones International. Their awards are called the Boneheads. Bare Bones Internet. So the Biff. The Biff. The Biff. All right. They sell t shirts. They sell t shirts. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. All right. We're, I'm going to shoot these guys an email. Do it. Uh, hey, I'm like Cody Rhodes in 2018. Yeah. Daddy's first. No, all in. Oh, yeah. Do you, um, all right, everybody. Well, look for us at the uh, Bare Bones International Film Festival in Muskogee. Oh, with every $5 donation, you get a vial of authentic Muskogee, Oklahoma red dirt. Mm, just Their hats. Their hats are baller, actually. It says Bare Bones Film Festival, and then on the back it says no frills, no waste. Bare Bones? Hold on. Let me see this before we go. Are there hats? Yeah. I'm trying to get more into Oh, that's a nice hat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, we love our big blockbusters, but I want to be a little more supportive of the little guys because no one's supporting us. You know? People hate us. Yeah. Why couldn't we MC this? This this, there can't be like, oh, we we like this one guy. Yeah. Oh no, we're looking for uh, you know. I'll fly to Muskogee. Want Chelsea Handler or something? Yeah, you're not gonna get Chelsea Handler. You're not gonna get Whitney Cummings. No, you're gonna get us, and you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it, Muskogee. Muskogee, we're coming to Muskogee to drag our greasy balls all over your town. Oh, should we give him a call real quick? Give him a call now. All right, hang on here, bro. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what time it is, Muskogee. <laughs> that can hire us. All right, tell me if you can hear this. Can you hear I, that? Yeah, I can barely hear that, but that's fine. They better fucking answer. They're not gonna answer. No, you're not gonna answer. I'm gonna leave a message though. You sound like you've been drinking this early in the morning, bro. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine one eight they're three four eight, 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 Well, I guess the number's out there now. Available. It's okay. At the it, you can look it up. Record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. All right, you got this. Good evening, uh, Bare Bones Movie and Music Festival of Muskogee, Oklahoma. My name is Uncle Howard. I'm calling on respects of myself and Uncle Franklin. We're the hosts of the Uncle to Uncle podcast. The only podcast is recorded live from a king-size bed aboard the Rock of Love tour bus. We recently discovered your film festival in the course of our uh studies and excavations throughout the internet and we would love to become a collaborator with you we will do it for free we're kind of like if chelsea handler was two guys and we'll work for free so uh i'll i'll follow up with an email so you'll have our email as well but you can hit us an email at uncle to uncle at gmail uncle to uncle pod at gmail.com mm-hmm. uh, you can find us all over the internet at uncle to uncle that's with a two and not t-o and uh we love films we love music and we love oklahoma boomer sooner I love gold all right that's what perfect then i thought that legitimately yeah why wouldn't they take us up you're showing the drive yeah i don't you see know, no one gets hired for a job if they don't apply oh dude that's what i'm talking about man yeah and we know money brother we know that it exists we know hey we know there's lots of it too yeah yeah and we know we want it <laughs> damn right <laughs> <laughs> and on that note that culture show ha So guess what? Goodbye!